So, uh, you got shot in the shoulder as well? Yep. How many times? Uh, twice, actually. Oh, no fair. Sup guys, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series 8622 Deluxe Class Brawn. Now, I think they did a pretty good job putting this figure into Studio Series form from the original cartoon. Although, this is a little bit different than the original design. After all, the original design was a little bit blocky. I mean, this figure's pretty blocky as well, but there's a little bit more mechanical details. Also, this guy got shot in the shoulder, but when he fell down, it looked like uh, the place where he got shot stretched out to his uh, back. Because I remember there was like purple flames coming out in his back, which kind of made no sense. There should have been purple flames coming out somewhere around over here. Eh, whatever. Now, painting and sculpting, pretty good, pretty good. I think this design overall is pretty cool. And I do like how the Autobot symbol is like right smack in the middle. Uh, you know, I've never been a big fan of uh, 86 Bronze face. It just looks goofy. And of course there is back kibble. Eh, where else is it gonna go? Anyways, let's just get down to accessories. He just comes with a pistol that looks like you could uh, fit a blast effect that's like 3mm compatible. Although, I remember when I did my long haul and I unboxed this guy, the wheel that was supposed to plug in on the top of the Jeep came in separately alongside the little uh, piece of cardboard bag that was wrapped around the gun and this. I guess you could just plug it into his hand and it could be like a little um, buzz saw. I don't know, maybe not. I mean, of course you could have it rotating. Just make sure it doesn't pop off as you're uh, rotating this thing. See what I mean? <laughs> if you want, you could bring in uh, Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Bronze uh, accessories. Uh, never mind, the gun doesn't really stay in right because there's this little uh, side part right here that won't go through. It's a little off. And same thing for the driller. So yeah, never mind uh, Bumblebee Movie Bronze uh, accessories on 86 Brawn. Also, is it just me or this back piece right here is a little bit too high up? And the box art, it's not too big, whereas with this one, it's a little bit too high. Eh, whatever. Anyways, let's just get down to articulation. Very tight head swivel, you can barely see it. Bend at the shoulder, full rotation at the arm. If you want, you can detach that yellow piece that holds the shoulder and shift it downwards, but that's goofy. That's for transformation, of course. Bicep swivel, bend at the elbow. This doesn't count, that's used for transformation. Eh, no wrist swivel, that's okay. There's a waist swivel at least. Legs can spread, leg can move up that far. You might want to extend the backpack outwards so the leg can move a little more far out. Thigh rotation, bend at the knee. Front of the foot likes to move up and down a lot. Also the heel can move as well. And last but not least, a pivot joint. So yeah, pretty decent articulation. Should allow for good posability. Let's just get down to size comparison. Starting off, here he is next to the Bumblebee Movie Brawn, Bumblebee Movie Wheeljack, Bumblebee Movie Ratchet, Cliff Jumper, Prowl, Ironhide, and lastly, Starscream. And now let's get down to transformation. Now I guess what you might want to do is extend this outwards to the point where the back piece right here is moving upright. And if you want, you could uh, open this up as well. Might want to close in the feet as well and move this whole section down. Oh wait, hold up. Rotate the waist. That's going to be important. Then move this down. And you might want to shift the shoulders down as well and rotate that. Oh, I forgot to mention you got to fold the arms in as well and then rotate them as well. And then open up the shoulder and it will rotate and close in like so. Same thing with the other side. And then lastly, you could just go ahead and close in the two arms. And if you want, you can just go ahead and close that in. You're gonna come over here, open this up, and keep it in a straight line. And you're gonna rotate that as well. Make sure the folded in feet compresses on over there. Not compresses on there, just closes in right there. And then there is a slot over there that will peg into that tab. And then there's a tab over here that will... I'm not sure what that's going to peg into. It's just going to 
that front piece is gonna close in. You do the same thing for the other side. Below the knuckles are these two slots that will peg it into these two tabs right here. Close them in. And then before you close this down, there's a two slots right there that will tab it into these two pegs. Close that in. Make sure everything is tapped in. And there are two slots over here that will peg into those two tabs over there. And they, they will just close in. There we go. And here we have the alternate mode, and I gotta say, it looks cool. Oh, hold up, that wasn't tabbed in. Tab in. Transformation's done already. I believe Braun turns into a Jeep. A very tiny Jeep at that. This is kind of small for an alternate mode. Ah, oh, well, it's Deluxe Class. And an 86 Deluxe Class, or G1-ish type of Deluxe Class. They kind of make the Deluxe Classes small for some reason when it comes to modern generations, 86 kind of stuff, or G1 stuff. Why do they do that? I have no idea. Anyways, you can come back to the spare tire and plug it on to the top. And then you just plug this in. And that serves for weapon storage. And it also serves for alternate mode weaponry. I think I said that right. Maybe not. I don't know. The gun could easily rotate a full 360. Of course, it can't look up and down. So, yeah. Also, here he is next to Cliff Jumper. Because why not? Anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all I have to say for this guy. Overall, I think he's pretty cool. He's a little bit tiny for $25 though, not too sure about that. If you want this guy, he's available on Amazon, and I think he's available out in Targets and Walmarts. I don't know. Check your stuff, and happy hunting. Anyways, if you like what you saw in this video, be sure to slam that like button. Be sure to share it with your friends as well. Turn on post notifications, that's if it works. And make sure you hit that big red button so we could uh, get to 5,000 subscribers before this year. Uh, next year, sorry. It's only been five days since I've reached 4,000 subscribers, and I'm already at 4,070 subscribers. Keep it up, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. See ya!